mean, the things we could talk about are many, but one of the interesting things that applies to the, the rest of us who are not monastics is attitude towards things. What does it say about the Sangha that people leave home with a guarantee of four things provided by all of you, which is what? Food and drink, clothes for the body, medicine when you're sick, and a tent and a sleeping bag, shelter, right? That's it. That's it. And we're in a world right now with, uh, Megan, do you need help? You're good? Okay. A world with uh, finite resources, right? We don't get a second planet. There's only one of them. There's no plan B, you know, once plan A is done. And yet, people, the population is just like that. Humans are spreading like crazy. Well, that's not entirely true. In Japan, the population is shrinking, it's true. But just in general, on the planet, the total number of human beings are exploding while the resources are constant or even dwindling. So when people are such incredible consumers, we just, we consume things, we extract and consume. The Buddha Sangha has a different message. One of the most interesting things that the Buddha's vision of how much is enough is the Sangha's approach to material, right? In a world where simply we're going to run out of things like fish, for example. The oceans are being fished dry really quick. We mentioned that the other day. Um, what does it say when an entire body of people say, actually, you know what we need? You know what the basics are? We need food and drink, just enough. It doesn't have to come from other beings' bodies, right? We need clothes for the seasons. We need something over our head at night so the insects and the dew don't, don't uh, chill us and make us sick. And we need medicine when we are four elements are out of balance. That's it. That's what we need. You know, that's a powerful message. Powerful message. In, and if you look at the inequality of resource distribution in developed countries, uh, I remember sitting here saying, coming out with one statistic that was kind of a jaw-dropping statistic probably 10 years ago. And we said, do you realize there are 140 people whose combined resources equals the rest of half of the world's resources, including governments and nations? We went, 140 people? Who are they? My goodness, how come, what kind of a world where 140 people's assets are so much that half of the world equals their, it's now become eight people, not 140. <laughs> it continued. So resources are so poorly distributed that total wealth is now in the hands of fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer people, which is unsustainable. That will tip over, okay? And it'll stop working as if, if it's working now. Okay, so radical view of what you need. What do I need? How much is need? And then, of course, how much is greed on the other side? Okay, page 70. Use it up. Wear it out. Make it do or do without. I own it. It owns me. Freedom in simplicity. Sir? So is it if eight people, if eight people own as much money as the rest of the world, or the rest of the, like, the Half, the 50 people, percent. Ha half the people? Half, including governments. Yeah. Believe it or not, in the hand, it's not just money. It's money and wealth. Wealth comes in all kinds, like stocks and things like that. So Bill Gates is still number one, right? In Mexico, Carlos Slim is a guy, and his money comes... Where's Carlos Slim's money from? It's from something funny like telephones. telephones, telephones, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just think of that. I mean, he's, he's like, is that right? Is that the way it should be? So... They say the one who wins has the most stuff. But no matter what I had, it was e never enough. There was always a new one. I was always behind. Another upgrade, but no peace of mind. Chorus, and this is your part, you go, use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. I own it, it owns me. Freedom in simplicity. What is use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without? Anybody know? 
I don't think anybody, including Dave, is quite old. And Doug might be old. I don't know. Doug's, yeah. I thought your grandma said it. Oh, That's <laughs> my grandmother's generation mantra, right? Which is what? The Depression, the Great Depression in the United States and other places um, made people learn to get along with less because there wasn't stuff. There just wasn't any, right? So what did my mother and her sisters and brothers grew up hearing their mother, my grandmother, say to them, you better use it up. You better wear it out. You got to make it do or else you won't have anything at all because there isn't any more. Okay, use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. That's a mantra for survival when resources are scarce. Okay, so my mother is the youngest of a family of five kids. She grew up never having her own dress until she was 16. Everything she wore was a hand-me-down. You know the, the phrase, a hand-me-down, because it was handed down from her sisters, right? You just make it over. You know, you turn the hem out, inside out, so it looks kind of new, and stitch and stitch and stitch. And that was her clothes. That was my mother's clothes. When she was 16, finally, I think it was the, the prom or something in high school, she finally got her own first dress. What a big deal that was for her, you know. So use it up, make it out, wear it out, make it do or do without. How much is enough? Is it more than I need? The heart of contentment, poisoned by greed. My only satisfaction comes... When I give my stuff away, make yourself happy, let it go today. Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. I own it, it owns me, freedom and simplicity. Then the last verse goes, earth, water, fire and air, in every being, everywhere. A magic soul lives within whatever shape our body's in. We share this makeup, gone, when we die and break up. All the stuff I buy and stash, a puff of wind and a heap of ash. Eww. That's maybe a little too much Buddha Dharma for people who just thought it was a song, right? Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. I own it, it owns me. Freedom and simplicity. So we can transmit that mantra to you today. Can we all do the chorus together? Here we go. Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. I own it. It owns me, freedom in simplicity. Simplicity, a little high, you got to da dee dee ah, oh, oh, it's too early in the morning. All right. They say the one who wins has the most stuff. No matter what I had, it was never enough. There was always a new one. I was always behind. Another upgrade. But no peace of mind Here we go Use it up, wear it out Make it do or do without I own it, it owns me Freedom and simplicity How much is enough? Is it more than I need? The heart of contentment Poisoned by greed My only satisfaction comes when I give stuff away Make yourself happy Let it go today Use it up, wear it out Make it do or do without I own it, it owns me Freedom and simplicity. Earth, water, fire, and air. 
in every being everywhere a magic soul lives within whatever shape our body's in we share this makeup gone when we die and break up all the stuff i buy and stash is just a puff of wind in a heap of ash that's really true talk isn't it use it up wear it out make it do or do without i own it it owns me 